All right, this may be an impossibility, but can we try it? Can we all take everything that we think about the T-Man and put it to the side, our own feelings, our own thoughts, and really just look at what's going on right now in New York? I'm going to try, and I'm going to take this to a bigger 30,000-foot view and really, really try to try to work something through here. Let me know what you think. It's crazy, and it's happening in real time, so buckle up. Here we go. This crazy afternoon is brought to you by Hidden Hybrid Holsters. It's a crazy world out there. Protect yourself safely and comfortably with HiddenHybridHolsters.com. Y'all know them. They're fantastic. I've used them for years, and they are comfortable, and they are hidden. Totally hidden, totally comfortable. HiddenHybridHolsters.com. Check them out. You people. Thank you for thumbs up. T-Man just got what they're calling arrested, arraigned. He just surrendered, like literally like six or eight minutes ago, right before I pressed record. And it's unheard of that a, that a former U.S. president is, is going through this. Can we put it to the side, what your opinion on him? This is unprecedented. We have, in my opinion, an out-of-control DA, Alvin. And he has stretched misdemeanors out to felonies. What it looks like to me... I, <laughs> this is funny. I watched the live CNN feed, and it was awesome. Awesome. Normally, I'm just like, nah. Oh, it was good. So you got the the the, the uh, reporter that's in the studio, and then talking to the one who's on the ground. And the one in the studio, he was like, he's like, so when he walks into the room, when he walks into the building, what is he? And the sideline reporter was like, uh, he is he is being uh, detained or whatever the word was, but he is arrested. Uh, well, no, he's actually under custody. But he's arrested, and they go, well, technically he's arrested, so he's arrested. And the sideline person goes, yes, made him say it. And then the other one was great. They, they said, so what is he going to see when he goes in there? Will he do this, and there's this, and there's a camera, and there's the booking stuff, and there's fingerprints. So will he see the inside of a cell? And the sideline person goes, well, there's a cell in that room. You can see the cell where they hold dangerous people. So he'll see the cell. Well, he won't see the inside of the cell, but he'll see the cell. So he'll see the cell. Yes. We're in a time where we are seeing the weaponization of the federal government at like no other time ever. And I remember a few years ago uh, watching the IRS. It came out and it was, it was verified the IRS was going after Christians and going after nonprofits. I remember that uh, Obama was using, this has been verified, that Obama during, during uh, one of the elections was literally weaponized the FBI. That has been clear. The BAFT right now, the AFT is being weaponized against, against FFLs, 500% closing rates. It's going on nonstop. The Biden administration has announced that this year they are going to be auditing at a higher rate whites and Asians. That is a weaponization of the federal government. That's not okay. Rather than these branches and the lettered agencies being, being non-political and being all about what's, what is just and right and protective of our country, they are now being used to solidify and maintain the power of the DNC. It is rampant and... I don't like what's coming down the pipe. Not at all. I wrote a couple things down here. I was like, hmm, you know, we got all this going on in the streets in New York. Why don't we talk about the $17 million slush fund for sexual harassment suits against Congress? Why don't we talk about that? That's verified. Nobody will talk about it. A whole lot of money paid out to women like Paula Jones, et cetera, et cetera. Who on planet Earth has had 56 friends commit suicide? We have the child of the child sniffer roaming around in the carpet snorting mozzarella and Parmesan cheese literally and doing felonious 4473s. Uh-huh. Literal gun crimes. Nobody will talk about that. All they are doing is, again, solidifying and maintaining their own power. At this point, we have become officially a banana republic.